Hi, everyone, and thank you for tuning in with us today to discuss Nutrition for High Performance Professionals webinar. My name is Taja Fox, and I'm the Communications Officer here at the Health Council. Joining me today is Agatha, Director of Fueled Bermuda Limited. Today, you will hear the why, the how, and tips on eating optimally to transform your professional and personal life. At the end of the webinar, we will have a live Q&A session with Agatha where you can get your health questions answered. Now, I would like to welcome Agatha to kick off today's webinar event. Thank you so much, Taja. I'm really excited to be here. Really appreciate you uh, including me in this webinar series. I'm very, very, very thrilled to be here and so excited to talk about this topic today. Um, so I will be speaking on nutrition for high performance professionals and welcome everybody who's here. Um, really, 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 really thrilled to be doing this. So I'm just gonna take over, let me see here. Because I have a presentation for you. Let me just share my screen. Beautiful. Okay, hope everybody can see that. Um, we are going to be speaking today. We've got about 45 minutes together. I'm so excited. We've got 45 minutes to speak about nutrition for high performance professionals. So if this is something that is really of interest to you, then I think that this would be a great 45 minute kickstart to optimizing and leveling up your health this summer. Um, so really excited. So nutrition for high performance professionals. So whether you're in events planning, everybody in the health professions is high performance, especially um, as we've, you know, just been through this pandemic and it's been very, very, very intense. So here we go. Let's dive right in. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I might be new to some people, so I'd love to share a little bit about who I am. Let me just move my picture here. So, all right. So this is me. Um, I'm director at Fueled Bermuda. I'm also a creator of The Energized Executive. It's a 16-week supercharged high-performance nutrition reset for high-performance professionals. It starts September 1st. Um, and I'm also a certified integrative nutrition health coach and consultant. It is my absolute passion. I love what I do. It's truly my calling. And so I'm so excited to be speaking to you guys today. Um, and then I'm a member of the Nutritional Therapists Association of Bermuda. And I'm an author. I've written this book here. Same name as the company, actually, because you'll learn later in the presentation how it's actually a whole philosophy and an acronym. And it's quite interesting. So stay tuned for that. The book is called Fueled, Transform Your Body, Enhance Your Energy, Supercharge Your Life. It has just, uh, it's no longer available in print, but it is still available in audiobook. And that's on Audible and iTunes worldwide. And so, yeah, check it out. So it's called Fueled. That's the book. Um, I'm working on the second edition right now, which is why the first edition is no longer available in print, uh, in hardcover or softcover. But it was on Amazon and around the world. And it was also, um, and it just was, uh, uh, print just stopped in June. So it was also in all the bookstores and all that kind of stuff. So I wrote the book. Sorry, the book is from 2017. So it's 2020 now. The second edition will be ready for 2023. Absolutely so excited about that coming out. Um, I'm also a private chef. So I take my love of nutrition and I bring it into the kitchen and I private chef as well. That's especially for events and for those people who really want to level up their meal prep and have that uh, piece of their life really going for them. So I'm a master class teacher. So again, taking nutrition into the kitchen because that's where it shows up. You know, you can learn so much in a presentation like this, but nutrition is, an, is something that the results and the outcomes that you really want in your life, they show up when you take action. So you have to take it into the kitchen, right? 
um, and uh, enter the grocery store. And so I teach master classes. Those are usually two a month and they are healthy, doesn't have to be hard, healthy cooking master classes. I do one smoothies one every single month and then one is a dinner edition. So sometimes I do a dessert edition as well. So that's really fun. So I teach in a hands-on style so that everybody puts on gloves, they glove up, they get ready. I've got the recipes going. We spend two and a half hours together. I have a playlist. Um, I have all the ingredients and we just really, you know, make magic happen, make it so delicious. And you learn by doing how to take all these essential nutrients that will level up your life and optimize your energy and really give you great health outcomes. Um, and how to take those nutrients and do all of that and actually apply them in the meals that you eat. So I love doing those. Um, yeah, taking a bit of a break for the summer um, for actually, not because I want to, because I love putting those classes on, but we've had some location trouble at the moment. So looking forward to restarting in September with the classes. I still offer the master classes, corporate private master classes. So while I'm not doing the public ones right now, I've done in June, I had six corporate public uh, corporate classes. So if you're if you're um, you know part of an employee wellness team or you're just listening in and you think, oh my gosh, we should really get something like this for our employees for wellness, like get a class going, I can bring them to you. So it's a smoothies class or a cooking class or something like that. So um, you know those are those are really really big right now in the summertime. The corporate classes as well as private classes for a birthday, for a you know for a weekend for a organization you're a part of or a church or something so those classes are available to you again nutrition in the kitchen you get like a nutrition information and you get to eat everything after so yummy um so that's a lot of fun i love doing that and a wellness warrior i'm also a bermuda enthusiast so i love bermuda i love all the vegetables we grow i love the fish that we have everything is so so beautiful so yeah so that's a bit about me and um I did speak to some of the programs that I offer and, and how you can, um, you know, bring me into your life a little bit closer would be um, work with me one on one. So I do one on one coaching and consulting um, and my contact details are going to be at the end of the presentation. So if you have a specific need that you really like to get met in terms of nutrition or your body or your optimal health, that's something we can work on one on one. I have a group program starting in September. It's called the Energized Executive. It is about claiming the most limitless, the most lit up, the most legendary version of yourself. Because I do believe with all the right nutrients and, and like an abundance of nutrients flowing into our bodies, and you'll learn about that in this presentation, with, with all those nutrients in our body and a good night's sleep, we're limitless. I truly believe we're limitless. And where are you going to apply all of that energy, you know, to your work and your performance and your presence and your life and all the different areas. So it's really exciting. Um, so yeah, so the Energize Executive, that kicks off 16 weeks is four months with me. It's a true, beautiful, incredible commitment to yourself, investment in yourself. Um, and, you know, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, contact me for more details about that. I have a free private Facebook group right now. It's called the Energize Executive Collective and uh, loads of free uh, videos and free coaching and just learning how to level up your life, your nutrition, optimize your health and all of that kind of stuff. That's in that private group. It's separate from the social media, which is at Fuel Bermuda uh, and Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. So that's a special private group that gets all the live video stuff that you might be interested in. Um, yeah, we talked about the master classes and all the details are at the end. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, let's, uh, let's kickstart. Let's get going on this because I know you guys are here for the presentation. Let's, let's dive in. So, okay, I want to start with this. And that is that I believe vibrant health is our birthright. It is our birthright. Okay. I know that sort of struggling with our energy and waking up fatigued and feeling like you're carrying a 10 ton load and you know, and, 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 and brain fog and just all of this stuff, it's become a norm, but it's really not the norm. Vibrant health, really vibrant health is our birthright. So um, I encourage you to stop struggling, get smart about it, get psyched about it. So get excited about, you know, claiming this nutritional advantage, claiming the vibrant health that you deserve for all of the different aspects of your life. But today we're going to talk about in our professional life how nutrients um, and you know great nutrition show up in your professional life. So 
I wrote here, we can use food as fuel to power up our energy performance and optimal health so we can claim the most legendary, lit up and limitless version of ourselves. And I'm just gonna keep saying that until you really like really settles into the core of your being because really nutrition delivers to that extent, to that extent. If it could be bottled, I often think if it could be bottled into a pill, people would be purchasing this, but it's actually accessed through the foods that you eat, right? not through a pill, through the foods that you eat, but it would be flying off the shelves if this was a pill. Um, so yeah, so there it is. Claim the most legendary, lit up and limitless version of yourself. Um, here we go. High performance nutrition. We're gonna talk about the why, how eating optimally will transform your professional and personal life. So why is so important? You guys must have seen um, Simon Sin Simiak's pronunciation. Um, uh, TED talk on, you know, the power of why and why why matters and, and, you know, how important it is to know why, why should you care about nutrition? Really? You know, um, you're eating every day anyway, so it doesn't really, why, why will this change your professional life? Um, we're going to talk about how we're going to talk about how you can claim your nutritional advantage today. We're going to talk about some pro tips. So for the office overall, and for when you're stressed or low on time, so I hear it in my clients. I know, uh, you know, I'm a high performing professional. I know what it's like to work in high professional. Um, I have a, a, a legal background, a background in the legal industry. I have definitely, definitely um, loads of experience in that high paced, high powered sort of um, environment. And I'm going to give you some tips in that environment. Um, all right, then we're gonna have some time for Q&A. So you ask, I answer. So if you have any, you know, burning questions, please bring them to the end of this presentation where we're gonna answer them live. Um, kind of hot seat. <laughs> All right, so just in case you didn't know, poor nutrition can significantly impact your ability to perform well on the job, or if you're an entrepreneur in your business, because it can lead to fatigue, sluggishness, lowered energy levels, decreased mental effectiveness. Seriously, think about that cognitive function, right? weakened immune system, more sick days. What's more sick days? Less profit, your projects don't move forward. You're not really showing up for your teams, right? So more sick days, headaches, and a reduced ability to think clearly. And let's also say that it also gives you negative anticipation when you think about going for your annual physical. And when you have negative anticipation for say two, three weeks prior to an annual physical or any sort of date, it shows up, it shows up and it can significantly impact your performance at work when you are concerned about your cardiovascular health. So that could be cholesterol, that could be, um, you know, gosh, actually I'm not gonna go into it too much. I get a little bit overly passionate, let's move on. <laughs> but, um, you know, poor nutrition can, can significantly impact your ability to perform well on the job because of these factors. And there are more factors uh, like this that actually there's more. All right. So the why, oh, why, 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 why? All right. I've got eight reasons for you guys why you should care and think about leveling up in this area of your life, which is your nutrition. All right. Why you should care, why you should level up because it will impact your performance at work and your presence at work, the whole thing. First, why? Natural detoxification and lightness of being, let your light shine. When we understand how nutrition impacts the organs in our body, what we get is that we have, when we understand how it impacts the organs of our body, we're more likely to make choices that won't jam us up. So when, when our liver is jammed up, when our kidneys, when we have a jammed up immune system, when we have a jammed up liver, when we have just so much I think of it as junk in your trunk, like literally in the trunk of your body, it's just jammed up with different types of toxins, intolerances, poisonous things that are coming in, pesticides, um, oh my gosh, food dyes, all these different things. Little by little, you take it through your mouth, it spits a poison, you're jamming up organs that you really would be better off if they were working like a well-oiled machine. All right, if your liver's working like a well-oiled machine, your immune system, your digestive tract, right? Your heart, right? Pumping and, and circulating that, that blood through your body, right? So we're thinking here, when you know that foods can naturally detoxify the body, right? 
versus some foods like just because of the nature of what's in them, usually kind of junk foods and dyed foods and um, my goodness, and sprayed foods and different things like that. So you have that batch of foods. If you go in that direction, you pivot towards those foods, what you're looking at, you know, it might taste good in the mouth. You might not be able to see the sprays. Oh, you know, food coloring. We all ate it when we were little. It's even in my toothpaste. Um, you know, sorry, not in my toothpaste, but that's how people say, um, you know, you go in that direction, you're jamming things up. You're jamming things up. Your body's like food coloring, pesticides, herbicides, you know? So, um, and uh, you're going to not have optimal functioning and energy, performance, presence, all of it in your body because you're jamming it up, right? So here I say lightness of being because you can choose a different path, right? And I don't mean like drastically, like cut it all out and like big uh, change of life, right? Just little by little, step by step, when we eat foods that naturally detoxify, cleanse, um, uh, you know, uh, the body and nourish the body and like really like fuel it up those cells so that they're optimized and nutrients are in there we actually don't have jammed up organs and then they're all working they're functioning great you wouldn't believe it serotonin is producing really well your your immune system's got your back you know so let your light shine you have this lightness of being when you just don't jam yourself up that's reason one reason two i gotta actually move this um little zoom thing so i can read my reason two here we go Enhanced energy, vitality, and optimal performance literally supercharge your life. So as that's exactly what I want to say. So it enhances your energy to load your body up with nutrients, B vitamins, iron, different types of um, C, you know, vitamin C, certain minerals, certain vitamins, they boost your body. And with that boost, it's a natural boost. It's not a caffeine energy, you know, it's a natural boost. And with the right amount of iron in your body, you have more energy. With the right amount of vitamin Bs in your body, you have more energy. With the vitamin Cs, you just feel it. The antioxidants, you know, you're like, I'll go into it later, but you've got biological age reversal going on, right? And you've got all these thing, things happening. And with water, you know, just the simple act of hydrating, you guys, you boost energy, you boost energy. Your body's like, oh, it's so good. I'm hydrated, right? Like there's this whole level when you're dehydrated and hydrated, you know, like really like this great energy. You come from, um, I spoke on my free Facebook group this uh, last week about your presence and coming from a place where you're, oh, you're coming from a cup that is overflowing, overflowing rather than depleted a cup that is overflowing. And that's how you get to show up in the world. So with all those nutrients, right? So talk about enhanced energy when you're not depleted, right? You're not drained. You're not feeling blah. You're not feeling burnt out. You're actually coming to your life from a cup that is overflowing, all right? Nutrients bring it. They bring that to the cells of your body. And so enhance energy, vitality, optimal performance, literally supercharge your life. Point two, point three, illness and disease prevention, less pain, more gain. So um, yeah, less pain, more gain. The less pain you have, the less you're down, the less you're sick in bed, the less you're on sick days, the less you're on mental health days, you actually nutrients um, supercharge your body and supercharge your immune system so that you are not as susceptible <laughs> susceptible to getting sick, right? So all these people who are down, they've got sick days. Oh, let's talk about hangover days, right? Those people who are sick on Monday, the mysterious Monday sickness, right? Um, you could see how that kind of nutrition with the overload of toxicity in the body and that hangover feeling, right? We've all been there, not, not judging, but it's just a clear and obvious example. You are feeling awful the next day. You cannot focus. You cannot work you know to your best you're not optimized you're definitely not full of energy you know you're drained you're hungover alcohol can impact your body like that so imagine the other way right if you didn't slam that instead you ate with them with the with with your you know um optimal health in mind and um and you could drink moderately you know this isn't like the anti <laughs> but anyways so and you boost your immune system and you boost your body like that right things go around you're not sick 
interesting, right? Guys, I haven't been sick in over three years. And I say three, it might be four, it might be five. I can't remember the last time I was sick. Through all of everything that's happened, I'm just not sick. So um, yeah, I'm really, really, really thrilled to bring that. And as a woman who runs her own business, it's as an entrepreneur, especially in the beginning, you, um, you need to show up. If you can't show up, you're not going to be profitable and your business will fail. It's not like I get, you know, sick pay and stuff like that. So it's wonderful that we do. And I fully believe in that. Right. But, um, but just think about the more effort, more time and more energy you can put into your projects and to all of the different things you're doing, your presentations, you know, projects and presentations alone, when you can really not be sick and you can really bring it. So just illness and disease prevention, but looking at it from that you know, that real strength in your body. It's a real, there's a strength in your body. There's that knowing my immune system's got my back. You know, I've got it. I've got it. I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to be sort of sick. I'm not going to get kind of sick. I'm not going to be feeling down. You know, it's, it's got my back for years and years now. Um, four, biological age reversal and cellular healing, healing at the cellular level. So research is now coming out, out of Harvard. Um, more definitive research. I should say this has been around for as far as I know, the 90s, um, about biological age reversal. So when we, when we um, nutrient load our body, especially with things like antioxidants and omega-3s, all these healing and potent um, phytonutrients and nutrients, um, we actually reverse our biological age. So you can now get tested and find out what your biological age is versus your chronological age. So chronological age and 40, biological age, love to find out, right? So you can get it tested. Um, and I'd love to do that it's out of New York. So I have to work on getting that done. Um, but you can reverse your biological age by making sure the nutrients in your body are taking care of your body in such an amazing way. The doctor you want to follow on Instagram is Dr. David Sinclair. Um, he is out of Harvard University, and he's the one who's putting out a lot of information in this area. And it's really, really, really incredible. And what that does, it's not like cosmetic. It's like, hey, look at me, I look so young without Botox or whatever, you know. Um, it's, it is cosmetic, but it's deeper than that. It's way more than skin deep. It's about vitality. You're bringing a vitality in your 60s, in your 70s, well, in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 40s, you know, like that someone without that nutritional advantage, they're not bringing that presence. They're not bringing that vitality. When you show up to meetings with this cellular stuff happening in your body with the biological age reversal, or you're showing up to a presentation, or you're showing up to your project, you're showing up with so much more vitality, more energy, more youthfulness, more like, I got this, right? Like, um, then someone who is actually either speeding up their biological age, because that's another thing we can do, smoking, drinking, stress that's unresolved, all this stuff, we can actually speed up our biological age, okay? You can also go through trauma and your biological age speeds up. But I'm trying to say, we have power in this. We have power in this, you guys. So we can determine to quite a large extent, sleep is important here too, stress reduction techniques and having, you know, like different modalities that are working with you on that different levels. Um, you know, nutrition is a huge part of that game, guys, huge part of the biological age reversal game. And not only will you just be like looking incredible, you will be bringing incredible energy. Like what does that person have going on? Right. So it's kind of, it's great. I got to move faster on this. <laughs> All right. So the rest of my wise boost your metabolism. Oh, right. The right nutrients, the right food choices will help you boost your metabolism. I won't say the right, there's not like the right and the wrong in my head. There's a right and a wrong, but um, the most optimized, the most optimized for your cells, your food choices will boost your metabolism. And not only does that give you life enhancing weight loss. And what I'm trying to say here is like, it's not a fast weight loss program, but you become more of your ideal weight. You can drop excess weight. So when you boost your metabolism, you not only get life enhancing weight loss, but you also get energy. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, it's your highest frequency of you when you boost your metabolism. And I know how to dial metabolism up. I've got all, you know, I have 25 
Anyways, in my program, the Energize Executive, we talk about dialing up your metabolism, how you can take the reins of your metabolism. This is not something that happens to you because you're 40, because you're 50, because you're at the end of your 30s. Um, it's actually something that you have full control over. You can dial up your metabolism and you can dial it down. You just have to know how, you know, more intimately about what your body needs, okay? So you can support your most healthiest metabolism, right? And that's just an incredible space to be in. Um, and I, I love being in that great metabolic space. Um, all right. Okay. Another reason why we should, we should care about nutrition for high performance is Maslow says it matters. So we're going way back to 1943. Let me take you there. <laughs> Maslow developed a, uh, pyramid rather, sorry. He developed, he didn't develop the pyramid. It was shown as a pyramid here. Um, Maslow did a lot of research on high performance professionals and he came up with a understanding and a map of how we achieve what might be known as self-actualization. Self-actualization can be, you know, seen as the highest, truest, best version of you. You know, when you're doing your gifts that you were, you know, brought into this world to do, where your expression of yourself is in alignment and you're like, yes, this is me authentically, genuinely, this is the highest expression of myself, you know? And when you breadcrumb backwards and you find out how someone who is self-actualized, like how do you get there? Um, you know, there's a nice uh, road, <laughs> there's a ladder, there's a, a pyramid, there's a way to get there. And the foundation of achieving self-actualization is actually your physiological needs have to be met, all right? So that, very much is your nutrition, your body. It's your physiology. It's whether you're getting enough sleep, whether your body has nutrients or if it doesn't have nutrients, right? And if you're getting movement in your body, if you're getting sunlight, okay, but the majority of this really nutrition. Nutrition impacts your cells of your body to such an extent. And the only way we can get the nutrients in our body is eating unless you've got some kind of IV thing going for you at a, at a functional doctor or something else. But nutrition and nutrients to boost your physio physiology, it comes in through the food you eat. So we're gonna talk about that. You can't become self-actualized. I truly, you know, I've, you know, cause you can get kind of super close, but then you have a health problem because you push so hard in your career and you like really worked and you were pushing and you were doing this, but your health is suffering. You've got non-alcoholic non -alcoholic fatty liver disease. I definitely get, um, you know, male C-suite execs with coming to me with non-alcoholic fatty liver. Um, oh my gosh, cholesterol and cardiovascular disease, diabetes, right? So you just, you're going to stumble. You're going to stumble. A, a foundation needs to be solid. You can't build a skyscraper on a weak foundation, right? So you have to think about your physiological needs and people kind of just go about, they think they know how to, like, you, you, you just, you just, <laughs> you just eat, right? So anyways, think about that self-actualization, breadcrumb down. How do you get there? You start with your physiological needs. Next one. So Maslow said it matters about nutrition. Your self-respect will skyrocket, will skyrocket. Not only when you focus on your nutrition and getting nutrients into your body and fueling your cells up, will you look physically better, right? Like look physically in a way that you are feeling more confident. Let me just use those words instead. And by showing up for yourself and by honoring the cells of your body and making decisions that honor the cells of your body, your self-respect skyrockets because do you know what? Self-worth, it doesn't come from your paycheck. It doesn't come from how skinny you are. It comes from how you show up for yourself. I have been studying this personally for the past, for a while. And it's not from which family you come from. There are people that I've worked with that come from the right family or whatever, and their self-worth is quite low. People who get big, huge paychecks, their self-worth is quite low. I'm not saying everybody, but I'm just saying that's not how you measure self-worth. Your self-worth and self-respect, and as I've worked with clients over the years, you know where it comes from, you guys? It comes from showing up for yourself and honoring yourselves of your body and honoring yourself. Think about that. Nutrition helps you build your self-worth. It helps you show up for yourself. You have more respect for yourself. You create more respect for yourself, and it turns into a lot of respect for yourself. And so not only do you get like the physical, like looking so good, cause you know, I'm eating so well and you get the energy, 
but inside, inside that self-worth and that self-respect and how you show up for yourself and honor yourself. That's huge. That is pivoting in a direction that, you know what, not a lot of people on this earth actually do. They stay stuck in low self-worth and low self-respect. And you kind of need sometimes a guide who has herself or his self done that for themselves to show you the way. And it's incredible. It's incredible when you get to co-create that kind of a health outcome. All right. It's so much bigger than skin deep. I'm telling you. Last one. Why? Because it tastes so good. I just put out a newsletter. It said plants taste so damn good, <laughs> but I also, I also eat meat and fish protein and different things like that. It's just a matter of quality. So it tastes so good to eat nutritious food, nutrient loaded, energy giving, cell optimizing, energy producing, performance enhancing foods actually taste really good. Um, I put out a silly video yesterday. It was a reel on my social media with like a little bit of music and stuff like that. Just poking a bit of a joke at it, but it's really delicious. The food that I eat, I hardly take takeout, hardly do restaurants. Um, it's just, it just becomes, it doesn't just become, you just realize when you have those recipes going for you, you're like, I can't, <laughs> you can't beat this. Like, um, okay, let's move on. What time is it? Yeah, let's move on. All right. Take care of your body, Jim Rohn says. It's the only place you have to live. If you haven't heard that before, really, you know, let that sink in. Um, you might want to watch this video again. There might be a lot of aha moments, a lot of takeaways. So I think the, re the replay will be available live. Uh, not live. The replay is available on this uh, Facebook page. So take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. We talked about Maslow. I like this. Somebody once told me the definition of hell on your last day on earth, the person you became will meet the person you could have become. Have you ever thought about that one? Think about pivoting, right? Which direction am I going in? All right, how? Fueled food pyramid, we're gonna talk about how now. So how do you do it, right? So mind you, I have a short amount of time. I would love to be here with you guys for three hours and we could deep dive into it, but. Um, if you'd like more of this, if you love this, if you want to know more, again, I have got my Energize Executive uh, program four months with me. You will fully embody uh, this fueled high performance professional um, at the end of four months, no matter how burnt out or blah you feel at the beginning um, or how you're feeling just in general about, yeah, your food. So, or how you might not even know, really, like we're not taught this in school, right? So, it's such a pleasure for me to teach it, you know, because for some people, it's, like the first time they're really learning about this. And I love that, I love it, it excites me. So, okay, how do we do this? How do we get this optimized, you know, like legendary lit up limitless version of ourselves and our physiology is coming from a cup that is overflowing you guys. All right, so um, fueled food pyramid for optimal cellular health. We're gonna talk about what to eat. We're gonna talk about um, the 80, 20 or 90, 10 rule for success. No one is trying to take away your special pleasures. Not me. People think that like they some people like kind of like go in a big junk food binge and then they come to see me because they think it's like gonna be so over <laughs> after they start with their like nutrition coach, right? So that's not how it is. No one's gonna try to take away your special pleasures. I'm gonna tell you about that. Um, okay, how make it delicious. I talked about delicious food, you know. Um Deprivation is the mother of failure, uh, was Mireille Giuliano said that, and I love it. I fully believe in that. What's life without pleasure? So let's make it delicious. And then structure and timing, anchor your day and honor your body. Consistency is a superpower. All right. Here we go. I'm going to go over this briefly. You can find this on the Fueled Bermuda, at Fueled Bermuda. Um, um ig page it's easier to find there on the tiles than it is in the facebook you have to kind of uh, go down through the feed so on the instagram page i'm also going to be posting this um on the energized executive collective that's my free private facebook group where you get just loads of live videos um free coaching you know inspiration keep you going on your own health journey you know so for free um so i'll be posting this there if you want to dig into it some more so as i was writing the book in 2017 so my background is also in uh, research. I'm a professional researcher. I have a master of library and information studies degree. So I was in the library's world for 20 years. I um, 
did a lot of very interesting research, uh, legal research, academic research, and uh, I worked at the Health Canada um, Policy Division of the Government of Canada doing research on um, age life extension and age reversal. That was in 2000, sorry, over 15 years ago. So <laughs> anyways, so I've done a lot of amazing research and in the research I was doing for the book, the book fueled was meant to transform one's body, enhance their energy and supercharge their life, but not a diet book, okay? So if you ever work with me, we will not be talking about diets and calories and macros. Um, it's, it's just a different perspective. I just feel like if you wanna go into the diet industry, you can go right ahead. There's so much available to you there. I offer something different and it's outside the box. And anyway, so I researched for the book, how foods not just make you skinnier, but how they make you healthier, how they optimize. And this was also from my own journey, um, having to overcome my own health stuff, you know, and really devote to myself, um, devote myself to healing myself. So this is what will bring it. So we start with water staying hydrated. Okay, so let me tell you about the pyramid. We're all familiar with this. This is the fueled food pyramid. Um, the base, the foundation, the wider part, you guys, the foundation is all about the most, the most quantity. It's about the strongest foundation for that skyscraper that you're building, right? And so the most and the most, uh, so in quantity and in frequency, okay? Quantity and frequency. And then the top, is less quantity, less frequency, okay? More quantity, more frequency, less quantity, less frequency. Okay, so we start on the bottom with all these beautiful, beautiful foods, but below them, we always need to think about hydrating, especially in this hot country <laughs> in July. Um, but all throughout the year, high performance professionals, you're off to an at the computer, focused, 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 driven people, right? Really driven. If you're not the computer, you're in the health industry, you're, you're seeing client after client after client after patient after patient after patient. You're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. Excuse me one second, hold on. I apologize, I didn't, here we go. Let me just make a little technical. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, so you're seeing people, you're seeing people, you're seeing, you, you forget to hydrate, all right? I have a client in the event space, so weddings and, uh, oh my gosh, weddings and conferences and all of this and all of this, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., this, 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 high, super high performance work, right? Like setting up events. Hydration got put, you know, it's in the purse somewhere. The bottle is there somewhere in the purse, but I'm running around setting up, you know, this important thing. Hydration is so important. You're at the computer, put it in front of you, right? So hydration, water, think about that. So optimal hydration is when you urinate, you go, you go to pee and then it's clear. Your urine is clear. It's not yellow. It's not kind of shades of yellow. It's not orange. It's clear. So you're looking at optimally hydrated at that point. If you're taking some B vitamins. It sort of messes around with that a little bit so we could discuss separately how much hydration you need, but wow. Um, hydration, greens, organic greens are best. Okay, you're using these food as medicine because it's literally enhancing your body's phys physical functioning. Okay, so greens, all these organic greens, all these colorful multicolored vegetables. So all these fruits and uh, multicolored fruits and things. Fruits, you wanna totally avoid if you are diabetic. If you have diabetes, pre-diabetes, you didn't get it from fruits, but you're going to want to Put that aside, stick to the multicolored veggies and the greens and those deep bitter greens. The deep bitter greens are a really good idea. Fruits, if, if diabetes is not a problem, then go ahead, you know, those beautiful enzymes in the pineapple, the antioxidants and blueberries and strawberries. Apples are great, especially tart for optimizing your liver. Uh, prebiotics inside of that banana. M uh, muscle, eases muscle pain to eat those tart, dark cherries, right? Like, oh my goodness. So, and all these different foods. So like, Orange foods, like a carrot, optimizes your skin health. You know, a carrot a day keeps your dermatologist away. All these different foods, I can go into it in depth, but we've got to move along. So then we've got the, um, and again, large quantities. And FYI, it doesn't have to be raw. We're not talking about like rabbit food salads. They can be stir fried. It can be roasted. It can be put into a sauce, like a tomato sauce with like, take a whole bunch of spinach in there. It just disappears and you can't even see. You've got like three cups of spinach in your sauce. And then you can make soups. You can make stews. You can make uh, smoothies, you can do stir fries. I say stir fries, I already love stir fries. Uh, <laughs> I love it all. So, you know, it's a, soups, stews, smoothies, stir fries, uh, raw salads, you can roast it. You can do so many different things. You know, you can dehydrate these things. You know, it, it's 
so abundant. It's so abundant. You know, you're going to need recipes. You're going to need recipes. That's what I do the master classes for because you're like, I'm ready for this. And then you need to know how to do it. Right. So um, the book also has 105 recipes and I'm going to be putting up the next edition. So um, and you get you get the recipes with the audiobook, audiobook. So, yeah. But for me, the five year old recipes, I'm ready for my 2023 recipes. So, OK, the next level up, you guys, is oils healthy and essential fats and oils. So many people are not getting their omega-3s and they're essential. People are like, oh, I don't wanna eat fat, don't wanna eat fat. That's the fault of the American Heart Association from the 1980s and 1990s. It was a no fat, low fat mentality that they put out into the world and they were wrong. It's, it's been, they've been proven wrong too. So it's not no fat, it's lots of good fats. Good fats, where do you get good fats? Avo uh, avocados and avocado oil, coconuts, coconut oil, flaxseed, flaxseed oil, walnuts, Udo's oil, fish, fish oil, fatty fish like sardines and mackerel, trout, uh, salmon, but not the ones that we have here in Bermuda. Sorry, guys, Atlantic stuff is not what you're looking for. Not Atlantic is also known as Scottish. It's not what you're looking for. Um, long story on that. Uh, Pacific wild caught. Pacific wild caught salmon. Don't worry about it so much here. It's not the best options here anyways. So uh, we have beautiful local fish. So yeah. Anyways, olive, uh, olive oil, but olive oil only cold, please don't cook with it. Okay, next one up, healthy proteins. So again, we're talking about the foods that impact the cells of your body. So you've got the greens, you've got the, the multicolored vegetables, multicolored fruits, the beautiful fats and oils. And yes, that's the quantity and the frequency daily, daily, daily. Are you getting enough fat? I see so many people coming in and they're like not getting enough fat. This glow, this glow, when you have omega-3s, you are optimized, okay? It's important to have your healthy fats. Um, and then healthy proteins. So loads of great stuff there. What you want to look for in the meats are organic and grass-fed. Yes, it's more expensive. You're actually going to pay less for health problems down the road. And it's really, the taste is just on point. You can eat a little bit less, have a lot more of the vegetable proteins um, in that case. So we'll go into this again more in my program, or if you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, just for time, time stuff here. Then we've got... Uh, I created this section myself. Nobody else has a section like this. I call it sort of your uh, flavorings. Okay, so honey and maple syrup, those are way better than your processed sugar. And then, so I do recommend actually a little bit every day, a little maple syrup in your salad dressing or a little bit of honey in your peppermint tea, right? So then you don't feel like I need sugar, I need sweets, I need this. You have a little bit of a healthier version every single day, sustainable, long-term. You don't need the brownies, you don't need the cookies. It's very interesting when people try this. Okay, then all of your herbs and spices. Now we can't eat like a ton of garlic or a ton of ginger, but what they bring, it's like a medicine cabinet. Um, it's like a medicine cabinet. So garlic combats cholesterol, ginger boosts your metabolism and your digestion. Um, turmeric looks like ginger, is huge anti-inflammatory. So all those joints, all the joint pain, all the stuff in your brain, like turmeric, oh my goodness, you know, it's actually like the studies on that are really, really extraordinary. It is probably one of the most ultimate superfoods on the planet. Okay, so these are the daily, so if you're getting these every single day, you're crushing it, right? Um, then, then the next is less frequently, you have your white foods, potatoes, rice, um, oatmeal, um, pasta, bread. Then you have the non-organic, you know, these are loaded non-organic meats and proteins and non-organic eggs. Uh, deli meats and stuff like that. So these are actually quite, I would say very poisonous, that they're quite toxic in the body. They contain up to 22 pharmaceuticals, including bovine growth hormones, depends on which country you're getting them from. They're banned in a lot of countries, but the US still allows bovine growth hormone. So we gotta be careful for our American products coming out of the States that are non-organic, okay? Organic means that that standard says no to that. And uh, the EU and Canada, Canada for sure, but EU I believe as well has banned bovine growth hormone. Anyways, lots of stuff happening in these that are, you don't see it, but it's coming in. It's like taking a whole bunch of pharmaceutical medications as you're eating, not good for your uh, physiology. Um, dairy, so dairy, really not that much of a health food. You get way more calcium and greens. Calcium and greens is way more. A lot of these are coming from animals that are not organically grown. So you wanna be a little bit more mindful about your cheese and your yogurt. Make sure you're, that that's organic if possible ice cream, you know, all of that, if you can do it organic. Wine and beer have a couple of health benefits, but you know, definitely on the less frequently side. And then the junk food section, this is your cake out, this is your spirits, your Coca-Cola, this is your cake, this is your bonbons, this is your donuts, this is your pizza, conventional pizza made from regular uh, like ways. 
So yeah, now this is the pyramid to optimize your cellular health, all right? This is why I built this pyramid because it's just like, we need a map. How do we get there? Show me a map to the territory I want to, I want to get to. So then this is it, you know? And in the work I do, I tell people how to optimize this, how to chunk it down and get it into their lives in a way that's like effortless. Um, and because we have a less frequently section, have you ever seen a pyramid or a plate that has junk food on it? As you'll see, wine, beer, and French fries are on my pyramid. And do you know why? It's because it's part of a lifelong healthy balance to include things like this in your body, all right? So I don't try to take away your fun. 90-10 or 80-20 rule for success. I'll talk about that more in my program. So fuel, when you fuel up your body, it's, it wasn't necessarily like, um, like the you know, pump at the gas station. It's more, although, yeah, I can definitely use that analogy. Um, fuel and fueled the book and the company and the philosophy is food unleashing energy for life. So it's an acronym for food unleashing energy for life. Food can unleash diabetes. It can unleash cancer, sugar and cancer, cool, a lot of links there. Uh, food dies in cancer, lots of links there, right? So you can take food that can unleash disease disorder. You can take food that can unleash energy, optimal health, great metabolism extremely fantastic physical body, right? So food unleashing energy for life is where I'm coming from with this. Um, all right, and then making it delicious. These are some samples of food I make. Um, so, and recently I've really mastered um, the uh, fish cakes for Easter, the Bermuda fish cakes, quite excited about that. So a lot of these come from my cooking classes and different things and I teach desserts and stuff like that. That's an almond flour. Um, carrot cake, anyways, beautiful, beautiful food does not have to be not delicious. You should be enjoying your meals because satisfaction is really a key to success, right? All right. Now, the next thing about being a high performance professional and actually optimizing your health is you have to make sure, ask yourself, is your eating pattern erratic? This will mess you up. This one small factor will mess you up so much you wouldn't believe. So if you are someone who eats at like kind of 9 30 some days and eight o'clock some days sometimes you don't have breakfast and then if if work is busy you skip lunch and then you go into the thing and you but you not only that you skip lunch but you pass your hunger signals right so you're hungry at lunch but you just had to finish the project or the do the meeting or whatever and then by two o'clock you kind of get a chance to eat right and your body's like trying to feed it you're trying to feed your body erratic eating patterns have got to go this is this is just not acceptable our body does not thrive in this way so if there's something that you take away, if the pyramid was maybe a bit too much for the short amount of presentation we have for the kickstart, start here. Eat whatever you're eating, but eat on a time when you know you're, you're actually hungry. You're actually hungry. All right, I'm going to stop there. Having and maintaining a consistent schedule, so important because you know what? When you don't eat, when, you're, when your body gets hungry, cortisol goes right through your body. Do you know what cortisol does? You can't lose fat because you're with stress running through your system. When you're stressed out, your body holds on. It holds on, okay? You're not at ease when you push your hunger signal. You're not at ease. So you're holding on to this weight because of the stress of not eating on time and, and honoring your body when it needs to eat at 12, when it needs to eat at eight, right? Really important, having and maintaining a consistent schedule. These erratic eating patterns are not okay. I get really upset about that. Um, people come to me with like, oh, I'm, I'm menopausal and I have issues and I see this erratic eating pattern. It's like, I don't really think it's menopause. I think we need to get some structure in your day. People go to these things that are like, oh, it must be something bigger. And it's actually so simple and your body really adjusts. You can really mess your sh blood sugar levels and create a great environment for diabetes to thrive just because you're not eating on time. All right. So pro tips for the office, faster nutrient dense uh, options for the office. I got to move my little picture here so I can see what this one says. Oh yeah. Nutrition success habits you can implement immediately, you guys. Promoting organizational values. So a lot of us are coming from an organization where you might want to, you know, really promote these kind of values. Taking a team approach to creating an optimized high performance team environment. All right. 10 fast superfoods to boost productivity. I'm not going to go through all of them because you can look them again. You can watch the replay and just screenshot this page or something like that. So fresh water, number one, try green tea instead of caffeine. All right. Um, avocados and avocado toast, nuts, not the salted roasted ones, but if you can get them in their natural form, all right, it will take a little bit of adjustment with the taste palette because you're used to salted and roasted. 
but when you taste the sweetness of natural nuts, it's really quite nice. Um, pumpkin seeds, uh, dry, gates, dry dates or goji berries instead of sweets like cookies and stuff like that, or you know, uh, candies that are all around the office. Smoothies, especially in the morning. Um, and yeah, you can try adding some superfoods, fresh fruit. All right. People always ask me, what can I implement immediately? So what I would do for that question is find out, reflect on all of your eating habits that are optimal and suboptimal. You'll know when you're doing something suboptimal and when you're doing something that's optimal, you'll feel it, like you'll know. Um, so note your common triggers for unhealthy eating. So reflect, reflect, what am I doing, right? Because I can't, I'm going to give you some suggestions on the next page, all right, where I can suggest what I think would be simpler strategies you can do. But let's do this. For you, reflect on what you're doing. Replace your unhealthier eating habits or anything suboptimal with healthier ones one step at a time. One week, you do one thing, okay? Reinforce your new healthy eating habits reinforce them. Okay. Take the stuff out of the kitchen that you, you are going to be triggers, reinforce that you've got healthy stuff out, whatever, right? Like think about yourself. Here are some suggestions that you can implement immediately. One, eat meals at regular times every day. Listen to your body for what those times are. When are you naturally hungry in the morning? I'm hungry at 8.30. I'm hungry at 12.30. I plan for that today. Um, and then, yeah. So know what time you are hungry and Try to be really regular about that. Eat enough to get you to your next meal with 100% certainty. Huge here, guys. So um, if you need to get from Somerset to town, don't fuel up and you only get to Southampton and you have to, you're stuck. You're stuck in Southampton. I didn't, I didn't make it to town. I ran out of fuel. That's what people are doing. You eat this like small, tiny little breakfast and you think you're going to, you know, and then you always oh, snack all the time. Well, how about bringing that into your meals, right? All right, eat sitting down without your phone or TV on. Drink enough water so that your urine is clear throughout the day. Eat one huge handful of organic greens five times a week. You can put it in a smoothie, a salad, stir fry, soup. You can roast it. Take a fish, flaxseed, or Udo's oil 369 supplement daily. Swap sweets like ice cream, brownies, cookies for fueled smoothie bowls. You could check out the Fueled Bermuda um, face, uh, Instagram for a whole bunch of recipes. Swap salty snacks with roasted veggies in umami Bermuda spices. Love her spice buns. Eat less at night and more midday. Shift your biggest meal forward with a salad and soup closer to bedtime. Stop at two alcoholic drinks and two coffees and be mindful about when and why you're drinking either of them. Both are artificial crutches for energy and other things. Experiment with some more exotic superfoods like moringa, spirulina, camu camu. That's not a simpler suggestion. That's more on the advanced side, but I thought I would throw one in in case anyone watching is like, okay, I'm doing a lot of this. What's more for me? So organizational values. In the organization, if you are someone who's a leader, think about these, rewarding and recognizing when someone is living these values, okay? Training employees about the values that you hold in terms of health and wellness and, and nutrition. Uh, align all communication. You know, this is our stance on this. Be an example. That's the best one. I go to different companies and, and hold healthy cooking presentations, and I can see, usually in the first 10 minutes, I can see that someone is leading this because there's something going on in this organization that's just really optimized really good. Sometimes, no, that's not happening and I see it. Um, so be an example, make values actionable, check in with your team for feedback and make the values visible. Like I'm telling you, these values are visible. When you go to a different organization, you can see when, when um, you know, high performance teams are, is something that is really valued and that the nutrition and health aspect of these companies is showing up. It's very visible. All right, take a team approach to creating optimized, uh, optimized high-performance team environments. So no man is an island. No one's supposed to take on you know, the whole challenge themselves, but take a team approach. And remember this, inch by inch, it's a cinch. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Small, easy successes add up to huge victories 
you are in fact pivoting. Overnight success isn't the aim here. Long-term success is. Success over speed, success over speed. Inch by inch, it's a cinch, all right? That's really, really important. Ah, if you are ready for a change, you don't need a new year. You just need a new moment. Never forget that. All right, guys, Q and A. Um, how much time do we have? We have a bit of time. <laughs> I went a little over. Um, and so, yeah, if there are any questions, I think that Taja will just help me with identifying any questions and um, from the group. Yes, Agatha, this has been amazing. Uh, the examples that you've given, I think everyone could find something and take away information from this webinar. Um, we do not have any questions at the moment. I'm going to allow the audience a few minutes just to submit their questions. Um, and if we don't, uh, do you have anything that you'd like to add? Sure. I can just share my contact information because I understand that sometimes, you know, we've just taken in a whole presentation and we may not have a question on hand yet. If you have a question, please feel free to reach out for me. You know, if it hits you like two hours later where you're just about to eat your lunch and you're like, oh, I wonder, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so there's my contact information. Don't be shy. Contact me. Um, and so you can email me at coach at fueledlife.com. The website is here. So it's fueledlife.com. And then you can WhatsApp me. So I, I've been doing WhatsApp for business for you know, years and years and years. So um, please do that. It's 532-0426 via WhatsApp. Um, and then socials for IG and Facebook. It's at Fueled Bermuda. And I'm on LinkedIn too. LinkedIn under myself, Agatha uh, Regina Holabatins. So, so many ways to reach out. If you have a question about the program or, or maybe a company masterclass, I can come to your company. We can cook something up. Um, and yeah, anything else you might have questions for, you can reach out to me anytime on those. Um, yeah, this has, been, this has been cool. Yes, thank you so much. Again, uh, anyone can reach out to Agatha. All of her contact details is listed in the comment section here on the feed. Um, and if you guys have questions for us about our upcoming webinars, you are more than welcome to email us at healthcouncil at bhec.bm, and we'll be happy to reach out to you and get back with you with more information. Thank you again, Agatha. We look forward to uh, hearing about everyone improving their health uh, in the coming months. Thanks so much, Tasha. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, everyone.